What is possibly the easiest way to create this dynamic curtain of chains? Thanks for asking, here it is. So first I will create this torus. I will make this smaller and change the segments to 6 and 6. Next I will change this to plus x, so it's standing upright. Now I will create this cloner, hold down alt, so the torus is a child of the cloner. And now I will change this mode to linear and decrease this Y so that it barely touches here, like this. Now let me just uh, disable this work plane. Next I will increase the count to something like 12. And now comes the fun part. Actually the whole tutorial is very fun, but this is the tricky fun part because now you can take this formula uh, effector, yeah, effector, change this formula to ID and go in this parameters, uh, change the position, not change, but uncheck the position, uncheck the scale and check the rotation. And now you can increase this so that it goes all the way up to 90. And as you can see, this creates this chain effect where uh, one, one of the uh, parts of the chain is facing this way, the other is facing this way, the third is facing this way, and so on. And if you go in this cloner and you click, you change this display mode to index, you can see that this is the clone number zero, this is the clone number one, two, three, four. And what this formula effector, uh, when the formula is ID, what this does, this means that ID is zero. And in this case, for the clone clone number zero, it's gonna be this value times zero, which is zero. For number one, it's gonna be this value times uh, one, which is 90. And for this one, it's gonna be two times 90, which is 180 and so on. And so this creates this, uh, this, this way you can create this chain, which is gonna be forever uh, each second clone is going to be uh, 90 degrees. Uh, the difference is going to be 90 degrees in the rotation. So this is a very nice way to create something like, like a chain in this case. So next, what I will do, I will create the cylinder. I will make this face the X direction. I think I want to change the size of this. So it's a bit smaller and drag it up. And now I will increase its size, the height in this case. And I will give this a collider body tag and this cloner will have this rigid body tag. And now if I press play, uh, this happens, which is if, if something like this hasn't happened to you when using Cinema 4D, then you are probably a wizard because this happens always even if you, are, you, you have been using Cinema 4D for two years. Uh, to fix this, you just have to change this move, uh, this shape to moving mesh. And now the chain drops down and it it's dynamic. Next, what I want to do is I want to create another cloner here. Cloner, hold down Alt, Enter. And now uh, change the cloner to linear again and change this to zero and change this to so it's so it's further away and now i think i will create one more or let's say uh two more and now i will drag this here and now if i press play you can see that the wall of chains the, the chain curtain is dynamic and i can even increase this um amount of these frames here and I can take this cylinder, I can add this vibrate tag to this, uh, I can go in this position and now you can see that it's moving and uh, I can increase this to something like 27 and here to 43 and change this frequency to 1 so it's not as uh, fast as you are seeing here. So this is it. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you didn't like the video, you can subscribe and then wait for something that uh, you will like in the future.